Good morning, AHS. I'm Jack. And I'm Grace, and today is Tuesday, March 9th. I am a member of Be The Change Club, and every year we compose a heritage map to show where all the students in our school originate from. Today in H Block, we ask for your help with this by completing a survey about your nationality. Your teacher will provide you with the link. Thank you. Today we continue celebrating Women's History Month with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. RBG was an American lawyer and jurist who served as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. She spent her life fighting for gender equality. In 1999, she won the American Bar Association Through Good Marshall Award for her contributions to gender equality and civil rights. She famously co-founded the Women's Rights Project at the ACLU as a lawyer and brought and argued the cases that led to the higher court to affirm protections against gender discrimination. She was the second woman to ever serve on the Supreme Court. The Andover men's basketball team had a very successful season with a final record of 11 to 1. Here are some of the highlights from the season. Andover Theatre Arts live-streamed their four performances of Almost Maine. Here are some highlights. What? I just... I'm having a nice time, Pete. Where am I? I couldn't find it on my map. Uh... Almost. What? You're in an unorganized territory. Township 13, Range 7. <laughs> it's not going to be on your map, because it's not an actual town, technically. What do you mean? See, to be a town, you got to get organized, and we never got around to getting organized, so we're just almost. I don't know, but she sometimes... I don't know why I bother going out. I mean, I know why. It's because you got to go out, but I'm scared, because... I've been going out, and nothing's come of it, you know? And I feel like I'm running out of chances. Don't say that. And lately, don't say I've been that. wondering why I even have to bother. I mean, I don't like it, Dina. I hate it. I hate going out on these dates. Why would I want to spend my Friday night hanging out with some guy I might maybe like when I could spend it hanging out with someone I know I like? Like you, you know? Yeah. What is that? It's all the love you gave me. That isn't, that is not, there is no way, that is not. Is that all I gave you? Yeah. You just, you don't pay attention anymore. You go away and I don't know where you go to, but it's a place where you can't pay attention and you miss your son's first varsity hockey game. Hockey equipment costs money. And you forget his birthday and you forget our anniversary. I mean, I brought you here hoping that you would remember about us, but you didn't. And that makes me so mad, and I don't know what to do anymore. Are you looking for a place to volunteer in spring? Interested in helping us plant enough trees to match AHS's paper usage? Sign up as a volunteer to, plan tr to plant trees for Tree Plenish on April 24th. More details on the type form link on your screen or on our Instagram at AHS underscore environmental underscore club. The Endangered Species Club is looking for new members. We are advocating for endangered animals by volunteering fundraising, and donating for them to have a better life and future. 
Come join us to spread awareness of these incredible species. Scan the QR code on your screen to join the classroom. The sophomore board is running a winter gram event. For only $10, you can send a fun winter pick-me-up to a friend, loved one, or yourself. The winter gram comes with one premium warrior's mug, two cocoa packets, mint stirring sticks, and a personal message to your recipient. House delivery included. The grams will be delivered on Friday, March 12th, so order now by scanning the QR code and completing the order form or get the link on the AHS 2023 class Instagram page. There are limited quantities, so please place your orders as soon as possible. This is a friendly reminder for all AHS clubs that fundraisers must be approved by student government. If your club would like to host an upcoming fundraiser, please fill out the form by scanning the QR code on your screen. Questions, comments, concerns, contact, contact us at andoversga1 at gmail.com. Jake and Tyler are back for the final episode of The Cook-Off, Making Lunchables. Welcome to the final episode of the AHS Cook-Off. Yes, I know it's the final episode. I can't believe it's already here. But you know what they say, all good things must come to an end. And uh, this week, we decided to go out with a bang. We're going extra gourmet. We're making Lunchables. So it'll be me and Tyler just making some Lunchables. And you guys get to decide who made the Lunchables better. So let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So as I said before, we're getting real classy. We decided to go for Lunchables. And I decided for the uh, pizza with pepperoni Lunchables, a true classic. You know, if you didn't grow up having one of these... I don't think you had a real childhood. All right, it's unboxing time for this. And there you have it, folks. The Capri Sun and the pepperoni pizza. Ingredients in the package, ready to go. All right, guys, it is time to prepare the pizzas. So we've got all the ingredients right here, as you can see. And uh, I think first off, obviously, we got to add the sauce. So. I'll just squirt the sauce onto these right now. You have it. May not look pretty right now, but you know when it's toasted, I think it will be great. It is time to put them in the oven. So let's go do that right now. I genuinely don't know how this is gonna work. So let's pray for the best. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes. All right, guys, so it's been cooking for long enough. I don't wanna overdo it, you know? I really don't know how long we are supposed to cook for anyways. Here's that Capri Sun, cheers everyone. And uh, here we go. Let's hope it's not too hot. I don't know what else to say. It's a classic pepperoni pizza lunchable, except I went the extra mile and I cooked it. You know, gotta wash it down with some of this Capri Sun. Delicious. I, you know, highly recommend this meal, guys. I give this, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is immaculate. Guys, welcome back to the last cooking show. Today I'm versing Jacob, and we are making the best Lunchables ever. First, we are going to unpackage the Lunchable. This pizza Lunchable comes with a Capri Sun, cheese blend, pizza crust, sauce, and of course a white mystery airhead. We are going to put these crusts on a plate. Then, add a perfect amount of sauce to each given pizza. After, we are going to spread the sauce. Then. We will sprinkle both cheeses onto our pizza. Then I'm going to add oregano and red pepper for some extra taste. Then I put them into the toaster until all the cheese on the pizza is melted. When they are done, I sprinkle grated cheese on them. And there you have it, a beautiful gourmet dinner. All right guys, that concludes the last episode of the AHS cook-off. 
it's been real. I had a great time making these. Tyler did too, I'm pretty sure. Just everyone, the whole crew. Uh, so as usual, we're going to be putting up uh, a poll on the Instagram. Who you think won. You can vote for it there. But thank you once again for watching, everybody. And um, good luck for the rest of the school year. Time now for episode two of The Chase. Welcome to The Chase. I am your host, Jack Mulligan. As always, we have Narin, the trivia expert. Narin, tell us, HS, your background in trivia. Well, I participated in many trivia competitions, and a few of them have been televised. High School Quiz Show, check it out. Today's challenger is coming in all the way from Switzerland. It's John Schwab. John, do you want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm not a trivia expert, and I was called in here um, about 15 minutes ago when I was about to fall asleep. So... Greetings. Naren, how do you feel about John as a challenger? Well, if I've learned anything from every movie ever, you must never underestimate your opponent. So, I have the uh, questions ready. John, are you ready for the chase? Let's do it. All right. The chase begins in three, two, one. John, in math, 70% of 400 is what? Three hundred. Incorrect. Two eighty. Spinach is high in what mineral? Sorry. Repeat. Spinach is high in what repeat? mineral? Spinach is high in what mineral? Iron. How many dots are in a pair of dice? Twenty. Wrong. Forty-two. What Roman emperor did nothing while Rome burned? Um, Nero. Correct. How many strings does a violin have? Six. No. Wrong. Four. Who is the author of Harry Potter? J.K. Rowling. Correct. Who won the Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather fight? Um. I'm sorry, John. The time is up. The correct answer was Floyd Mayweather. Um, you were able to get a lead of five. Narin, it will now be your chance to take away that lead and uh, and chase him down. Narin, do you feel confident? Yeah, I feel confident. Let's do it. Remember, for every incorrect answer, John will have the chance to steal and push Narin back. One more question. Narin, are you ready? Yeah. All right, the clock starts in three, two, one. Who turned everything he touched into gold? Midas. Correct. What is the chemical symbol for hydrogen? H. Correct. Who directed Jaws? Steven Spielberg. Correct. What temperature does water freeze in Kelvin? 273. Correct. What is Chandler's last name in Friends? Pass. All right, stop the clock. John, this is your chance to steal. Sorry, what? I, I have no idea. All right, the correct answer is Bing. Uh, Narin, you're still one question away with 33 seconds left. Are you ready? Yes. All right, the clock continues in three, two, one. Who directed Jaws? Steven Spielberg. We've been over this. Correct. And that is it. Uh, not very a close game. Narin, you were able to chase down John and get the win. How do you feel? Well, I'm just happy we table do it another day. Chaser is now 2-0. Can anybody beat the Chaser? Narin, what do you want to say to any future challengers? Well... I want them to try so I can watch them fail. All right, we'll see you next time on The Chase. Thank you for watching. Do you want to be a contestant of The Chase? Go to bit.ly slash
You know, that guy looks very familiar. <laughs> Finally, if you have announcements for us to read on AHS News, scan the QR code on your screen or click the button at the top of our website to fill out the Google form. That's all for us today, AHS. Have a great day.